सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज शैड्स की रेंज ओके सो देर इज अ पेशेंट हु इज डेवलपिंग डिस्फेजिया टू सॉलिड्स एंड वी गो अहेड विद अ बेरियम स्वेलो and this is what we noticed okay what is the diagnosis shadsky ring okay what is the classical finding that there is a circumferential narrowing okay generally present at the gastro esophageal junction okay so this is what is shadsky ring now this is the endoscopic finding of shadsky ring endoscopic finding of shadsky ring there is for a concentric symmetric narrowing okay so there will be a concentric symmetric narrowing and there will be a restricted distensibility restricted distensibility a person will be able to take liquids well but whenever a person is taking solid food then he might develop dysphagia and occasionally there will be episodic aphasia also where there will be a sudden impaction of the food bolus or some large piece of meat or some non vegetarian food and because of this the person will not be able to take anything else due to this food impaction and this will be known as episodic aphasia okay so the findings the most common symptom in this case is dysphagia and this dysphagia is more to solids than liquids and there is presence of episodic aphasia where there is presence of complete dysphagia or obstruction due to the presence of large piece of meat or non vegetarian food the investigation of choice is barium swallow and the finding is something like this which i have already shown to you and there will be a concentric symmetric narrowing if this when when the shadsky have described this ring it described it classically to be at the level of g junction or at the level of squamo columnar junction okay squamo columnar or g junction so this type of shadsky ring is known as type b shadsky ring okay if the ring is this is stomach if the ring is present at the level of g junction it is type b if it is present above g junction it is type a if it is present below g junction it is type t c okay and the treatment is endoscopic dilatation we will not excise this shadsky ring because after excision this shadsky ring there will be cicatrization or scarring which with fibrosis which will lead to development of a stricture so the treatment of choice in this case is not surgery it is endoscopic dilatation okay and this ring is composed of mucosa and submucosa it is not a full thickness esophageal tissue this ring is composed of mucosa and submucosa okay and treatment of choice is endoscopic dilatation and if it is detected incidentally
then no treatment is required okay so if it is detected incidentally then there is no treatment that is required if there is some dysphagia to solids we will go for endoscopic dilatation that, that is about Schatzky ring.